Hi guys. So this is a new series. Down, down, down. Okay. So what is a good project? How to give a perfect presentation? What are the tech stacks required? How to take part in a hackathon? Which projects win in a hackathon? So we have so many questions regarding how to make a project, how to win a hackathon. So this series is for you. We are going to get all the answers because guess what? In this series, we are going to break down the award-winning projects of different hackathons. So starting from today, it's the episode one, and today we are going to talk about the project which won first prize in Tech Innovate, second prize in Capredem, Recruitathon, various idea thons, many special mentions, and a lot of stuff you can see. And guess what? This is made by three girls only in the time period of two months, and only when they started with the basic HTML, CSS, and Java. We are talking about Remo platform that simplifies online interviews. It provides a private room for video call. Live chats, integrated GitHub support, coding environment, and whiteboard collaboration. And after two months, they were all equipped with these many technologies. Are you all excited to know more about the project? So let's talk to the teammates itself. I am really excited about your project, Remo, and I would love to know about how you got this idea and how was the project born. So it was the talent sprint WTF bootcamp, and we have to think of a project for that. We just randomly on our group we selected two people, and I was with Namya and Supriya. So we formed a team, and we have two months for it. At that point, it was like really uncertain. We didn't even know what's going to happen. But uh, the next was to actually choose a problem worth solving. And since we had faced a few technical interviews. That was uh, one area which we personally felt we could improve upon. So that's how we sort of thought of the idea. But again, that went through a lot of deletions, additions, even to even come up with the idea. Came yeah, up I guess we thought about many ideas, like from a discussion forum to, and then we came to this interview thing. So it we thought about many domains before we come to Remo, and it was like. The three of us didn't know each other before we started this project, so it was a really new thing for us because we were interacting for the first time. And we so, uh, Mansi, would you like to tell us that what are the different tech stacks you use, and what what are different problems that you came across, and how you popped up with them? Okay, so first, let me tell you before starting with this project, we only knew basic HTML, CSS, and some basic JavaScript. That's it. And so, and we have thought about so many things before this. So, for the tech stack, we thought that what we would do with the video conferencing. So, we explored many parts, and then we came across WebRTC. So, we thought that this is the best plan. We would be making our own video conferencing application. So then, WebRTC is the best thing that we can use. Moving on, we thought about the GitHub integration also, as you said, Kushbu. And the GitHub integration, we use the GitHub API. And for the white whiteboard, we use Socket.io and Node.js. And, and uh, Lab Component, which uh, is another feature of uh, Remo. So we did not design that end to end, but we made use of APIs again. So there's a company by name Novepro in Bangalore, and they do deal with uh, this sort of uh, setup. So where they provide cloud labs, and we had to make use of their APIs and set it up on our interface. So that was another API that we made use of. As you said, you were very beginner when you started the project. So there will be many problems like how to uh, like integrate the video thing, how to integrate the audio thing, and uh, you have to find out how to make the back end, how to make the front end, and all the stuff. So tell us about that. Okay, so first of all, actually, what we did was we made all the things separately, like. The video I I made a video conferencing application. Namya started working on the lab, the virtual lab, and Supriya started work on the GitHub integration. So we made all these things separately, and we thought that we would think about how we would integrate them later on after all these things are built first. And we used GitLab as our version control, so we had to like ensure everything is all right on that. But of course, we did make a few errors on it. 
so there were i think there was an issue with the versions we had a different version on our machines but a different one was pushed on to gitlab so there was a time where we did not have a working version because of some uh, errors in the commits so we had to roll back and that was really scary for us that was one issue with gitlab we faced a few issues in setting up the sign in sign up that was the first uh, technical issue i think we faced and then we had to figure out the concept of local storage and how we can actually make use of that yeah and the local storage concept as mam is mentioning we faced the biggest challenge and that was we we have to connect the pre interview and the interview room so we have to pass the keys from one html page to another html page and we actually didn't know any concept before that how to do that how to transfer data from one page to another page so that's what we learned new while working on this project and we actually we were really stuck on that part for one to two days because we couldn't get through it we spent hours on video calls debugging <laughs> code and all right and we actually thought we just give up on that because we have we had no idea and then we understood how caching of data works and we were able to do that and uh, one more thing i can uh, talk about is like as a, as a challenge was deploying the lab so uh, as i mentioned we made use of apis which were used to set up the lab but the issue was the api call just took too long to actually set up and come up on our interface so we tried various platforms to enable calling these apis but it somehow did not work and finally we were able to figure a way out but yeah that was another roadblock that we faced so, so this is our gitlab repository which was created really long time ago and this is what we started with as we mentioned earlier we took up some components and we started working on each of it also i think it is visible that we worked on different components first yeah exactly and as you can see uh, how much we have done uh, trial and error as we have four to six commits that's an awesome number <laughs> yeah <laughs> we tried everything and you won't believe for the whiteboard part we tried so many techniques so and at last we did it with socket io uh, but before that we tried so 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 many techniques you won't believe exactly and after we made the whiteboard we realized it was so easy to easy. make a chat up on the same lines yeah so, like i think in a single single day one of we just decided oh wait if we using this for the whiteboard we can use the same logic for the chat so we just did that and we got another component oh that's <laughs> so, great so great uh, this is the best part now when you were trying and uh, like different things to make a whiteboard you learned so many things this is our cleaner version of the code i think this is the final yes. thing that we incorporated into the application yeah. and, and you can see the remo chart part is here and the whiteboard is here we have different component made different components for the whiteboard the chart and inside this remo folder uh in the public folder for the firebase that we are using uh for the video conferencing application so that's why it's here and here you can see we have made different components for different parts of the website also mm-hmm. for the video room conferencing also and the lab and the feedback page and everything that was an amazing and very pretty exciting project how much time did it make to like complete this whole thing uh, i think we spent around 2 months but every day we were probably spending close to 6 to 7 hours okay <laughs> yeah so it was like we do some part of the work and then we have to team up and discuss whether that works whether we like it or not i am namya lg and i am in my fourth semester pursuing computer science at rv college of engineering bangalore i am mansi from i'm a btech for fourth semester student from indira gandhi delhi technical university for women and this is kishmu signing off